Hello, Mother Factors, Sam and his face and body here. You may remember in the golden era of last week, I asked you to ask me a question. Do you remember that? Ah, oh, good times. Well, you guys answered in your ones. So before I get to the main event, let's tackle some of them right bloody now. First up, Liam Patchett said, what's up with that magnificent man beard? I love it. Please love me. Ah, this is, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, it loved you too, honestly, but, you know, last night I brutally shaved it off into oblivion like face wheat with a handheld combine harvester. But it, it really did love you, honest. Emily Ormsby queried, What's your Hogwarts house? I'm in Slytherin, big wide toothy smiley face. Well, to get that answer, I happened to call JK Rowling on her personal phone number. But after I received a cease and desist letter in the mail, I turned to Buzzfeed where I did the quiz 27 times until I got the correct answer. Gryffindor, obvs. Kayala Mapani typed, Do you have a large vagina? Um, no? It's really small, it's like a pencil sharpener. Thank you so much for those, I'll do some more soon, but now onto the meat and gravy of this whole shindig. I've decided to do a brand new thang where I answer a big question. You know, the one that's always been at the back of your mind, like some sort of incessant baboon. I mean, that's a, that's a phrase, isn't it? Anyway, I want to get to the bottom of things that you've always wondered. So every week I'll be tackling them head on in... I've always wondered. Uh. Why is the sky blue? So yes, the sky, that thing that hangs over us all day every day and looks down on us like some sort of snooty great uncle who's either really happy or really, really angry. As we all know, although to be fair, maybe not so much here in Britain, the sky is a rather fetching shade of blue when it's not cluttered by cloud. But why is it blue, dabba dee dabba die, dabba dee dabba die? Well, it's not because it's sad. Let's get that out of the way quickly, because uh, that's what I thought. Uh. <laughs> Let's start quickly with this guy, the sun and the light it emits. Now, I'm sure as many of you know, the sun emits light like a big hot light bulb, and that's what makes it daytime down here on Earth. Nice. And the light coming from the sun looks like it's white, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, have a look. Don't stare at the sun to prove that. <laughs> I don't need another lawsuit. Light may look white, but it's actually a big mashup of all your favorite colors, featuring such hits as red, yellow, green, and blue bit like that rainbow song. When light is traveling in a straight line, it appears white and not really full of colors at all, like a man being told to walk in a straight line by a police officer to prove he isn't drink driving again. Don't be mad, Clive. I didn't even say that was you. However, it doesn't appear white when it's reflected, like in a mirror, refracted, like on a Pink Floyd album cover, or scattered by smaller molecules. This is because the colors in light travel in waves, some of which are longer than others. For example, red has long waves, whereas blue, on the opposite side of the spectrum, has short, choppy waves, like an overexcited football fan who can't stop doing Mexican waves. When light, with all the colours inside of it, travels from the sun to our Earth, it hits a lot of stuff along the way, including gas molecules in the atmosphere. Depending on the colour and the waves it's made of, they react differently to the gas molecule obstacles. The long red and yellow ones are more likely to slither and get through them like little snakes, but the choppy blue chaps get absorbed into them, a bit like a game of hungry hippos in the sky with gas and light instead of, you know, childhood trauma. This is a process coined by a chap named Rayleigh Scattering, which he calls Lord John William Strutt Rayleigh. Huh, may have got those two mixed up. The blue light waves are then scattered from the atmosphere molecules all around us, making the sky seem blue. So there you go, the sky is blue because light is like a Mario Kart race of different colour waves, some hitting obstacles harder than they do others in their race to our eyes. There, you can stop wondering now. Anyway, if you have any I've always wondered, then why not comment on them below starting with I've always wondered dot 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 and I'll give it a stab next week. Actually, stab sounds a bit aggressive. I mean, more like touch or feel. Caress? Oh god, no, this sounds like it should be on a Pornhub now. <laughs> Not that I know what that is. Oh god, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go. Uh, have a lovely day, mother factors. Bye! No, Jen, I can't do pizza today. I'm busy doing my new video. Do I have a large vagina? I shouldn't point, should I really? I mean, people know where they are, I guess. Where are they?
she's just going to go with Bradley anyway. She always, oh, it's Bradley. Oh, I love you, Bradley. We've been in so many films together. Oh, that's my nut in. My nut. 